Here we are back on Extinction. Oh, I'm just, I'm really loving Extinction, guys. It, just after aberration with all the, all the things what keep you stuck in aberration. <laughs> I just like being on Extinction. It's just, a, it's like, an, it's nearly a normal map again. Oh, it's glorious. Right, guys, today, what I want to do is, I want to go get a load of velos, get them tamed up, so we've got, like, a bit of a base defense. Do you know what I mean? From just all the PvE stuff. Um, I'm going to make a load of billboards, because I feel like we can just make like makeshift traps while we're out and about, because I don't want to have to bring any back home to actually tame them up. So we'll tame them out all out there, but I might take I might take the RG just to pick them up and put them in traps. But uh, I've also I've also spotted some mushrooms around base, so we're going to take some mushrooms as well, just in case we need to. Uh, well, in case we see a good root, because I do want something better for berries than uh, than these guys, because uh, they're all right, but they're just a bit slow. Do you know what I mean? They take the time. So we're going to go tame a load of Elos. They don't need to be good levels. I'd like to get a couple of good level ones, but we'll just see how we get on, really. That's kind of my gist today. I just want to be out and about, living, living, living my best life. <laughs> just living my best life in the desert. <laughs> Look, there's a roof straight away. Oh, if only that was 135. Oh, there's a Velo, though. 15. Right, I'm going to kill these as we go. Because, um... I just feel like it's the best best way to do it, really. We don't want to deal with scrubby ones, so we're going to... We're going to thin numbers. And, uh... Get a little bit of XP along the way as well. Got ourselves a 140. That's exactly what we want. Right, we're going to make a little... I'll make a little trap up here. Who was an exploring out there? Yeah, we're gonna pop a little trap down up here. Oh, did I even pick them up? Yes, I did. I'm so glad I picked them up. Okay, so we're just gonna pop a little trap down here. <laughs> Guess we can't pop one up there. And hopefully, if I do it like this, we should be able to shoot down on it, right? Be easy enough to uh, drop him in there with Naji. I think we'll be fine. Now the problem with these is, guys, they don't um, they don't like to be tamed. And when you start, that's 25. Where was it? And when you start shooting it and stuff, it will start like shooting back at you, and it can go very. Uh, Oh, he's fighting Kentro. Do not fight Kentro, please. Oh, I can't pick him? Oh, okay. I can't pick him with Naji. That's a uh, bit of a rip. I thought we could. Never mind. Um, <laughs> guess we don't need the Naji with us then. Well, sorry, mate. It's not your day. I brought you along for no reason. So, I may as well pick all these up then. And I need to get down there and make sure it doesn't um, doesn't all go pear shape. I mean, I could possibly just... Uh, I'm wondering if I could get away with it on the back of the Managama. Where's it gone? Give your hand, mate. Don't go getting yourself killed. Don't have to be a hero. Don't you run away, because you're going to end up coming back and doing my head in. Right. Oh, he's not even in it. Oh, 
Oh, this cactus is in my way. This is not how you do it, guys, just so you know. <laughs> Look at that first one. What? He just walked straight out of it. Come off it. Can you, like, walk straight in there or something? <laughs> I'm just putting so many in there. I bet it's still going to get out, isn't it? Never. Never is he getting out of there. Haha, <laughs> absolutely trapped, mate. God, I'm so weary of it. It doesn't look trapped, does it? At all. It's fine. Glad I made so many, nah. God, imagine if I'd only made like four or five. That wouldn't work, would it? Oh, look, this is actually legit the best trap I've ever made for one. I don't think I've actually trapped one in the wild. I usually just um, just try and do it on foot without a trap and struggle and it's a complete nightmare. But this is uh, this is solid. I've just realised this whole time I've been shooting it with stone arrows so uh, we're going to try and go back to base and get the snow owl to come back and uh, fix him up. Right, he's just on the 70 mark really. Hopefully, it won't get out. It probably will, though. But we do these things in Ark sometimes, guys. And it's fine. It doesn't matter. You don't have to judge. We've all been there. Right, well, this is, uh, this is quite an easy fix, because we can't use an RG anyway, because we can't even pick a Rue up. So, Simon can come with us and uh, be the MVP once again on some teams. I do want that stuff out of you, though, Simon. I don't know how much I have to heal it. I ain't got mag glass, so we'll pretend that was enough. That was plenty. Right. Trank arrows this time. What do you reckon? Nice. Let's go. It's start. Oh, look at that. I was going to say, it's starting to look a bit bloody, and it was like, it wasn't on its torpor run the whole time, but it was, uh, it was up summon the whole time. <laughs> It just wasn't attacking, so it meant I could get in there with it and get a few good headshots. I don't know if headshot multiplier even even counts for one of these, but um, I was getting them anyway. Why not, hey? Right, so Simon, you can get back in the cryopod, and we need to go find some prime. Um, I'm guessing Carnos. I don't think Morella Fox give Prime, do they? Oh! The man is like harvesting's turned off, isn't it? You wanted to get involved, mate? I'll see you. Right, okay, so we've got. Oh, here we go. Dimetrodon. That gives us a bit of Prime. Um, six is probably not enough though. I don't know if it's stuck in there. I want to get one like this just in case. Right, okay. I think we're good. Can't even hit it. Oh, in the bottom. One in the noggin. Two in the noggin. One in that leg to stop it from running. Right, okay, it's done. Nice. I'll probably tame a few more and um, not worry too much about showing it because, well, basically they're just going to be lower level ones. But if we come across anything higher level, I'll bring you back. Next one's knocked out. It's another thing, like... I, I, seem, I seem to have a really good... Oh, joking. I seem to be really good at finding females for some reason. Like, this is the third one, and it's female. It's level 100, though, so I thought, why not? 
guys. I'm, I'm, look, look at that. Look, I'm get, I'm getting better at these traps. Hey, I mean, it's not, it's, it's actually not as good when they're trapped really well with less, uh, less billboards. Because the problem is, like, they don't, uh, they can shoot. <laughs> So yeah, this is just a level 85, but it was a male, so I thought, hey, why not? We need a male. Guys, we have we have a 115 Procoptodon. I think I'm gonna take it. That's gonna be that's gonna be loads better than what we've got. It's not obviously the best thing in the world, but we've just gotta trap it. When it like when I just do things nice like that, I just I just impress myself sometimes, guys. Do you know what I mean? Like, the amount of times I've tried to do trap a roo like this and it just goes pear shaped. And you spend like 15 minutes chasing a kangaroo round in circles, constantly picking up billboards and stuff. Like, that was. Don't happen like that often, guys. I'm just telling you. Don't happen often. So excited to have a roo. The Roo is down. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like 19 mushrooms will be enough. They're quite, um... They're quite quick at taming with mushrooms, so we should be fine. Pick this, this old one up. This old boy. And we'll, uh, be on our way for another Velonosaur. Look at this canyon, guys. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Look at it. Looks proper nice. We're going to have a big old fight in this part, though. <laughs> right up there in the sky above all of this. We'll be fighting the Titan. I'm really looking forward to the Titan stuff on here. Because obviously I've done all the Titans before, but... um. I don't remember. I don't remember actually killing the, the titans before. I just remember taming them. I think I've killed the desert titan a couple of times, but um, the other ones, I think I've only ever tamed. But it'll be fun. It'll be cool. I haven't found nothing around in that canyon. You don't get as many velociraptors around there, which is a bit annoying. Could be checking tapes as well, to be honest. Puts me off checking tapes. It puts me off. That was another tame I saw a good level early on in the season. On the first day on here, I saw a really good tape. But, um, yeah, we didn't get him. Early game tape is a, is a dream. Guys, look at this room. I've just had to, just had to start the recording to show you this brew. It's like, like a charcoal colour. I don't think I've ever seen one that dark. Look at that. Looks cool, doesn't it? How have I never seen a brew with that, that colouring on it? I can't really see it when it's in, in the shade. Look at it. It'd be easier if I just killed it. Look at it. Proper nice, isn't it? Can I like drag it or anything? No. Shall we tame it? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I haven't found any good Velonosaurs. They've all been like level tens. Really annoying. But there's only so many level 10s you can look at. And then you get a good one. I don't want to go too close to that Procoptodon as well. In case there's anything spawned in near it. Look at the conundrum this Velonosaur's got in. He's killed this Morellatops, but it's floated above him. And now look at him. He's... What? What have I done to you? Idiot Troy, where did you even come from? Oh, I was enjoying looking at. Oh, stupid Anki ruined it. Why did the Anki have to do that? 
Oh, my <sighs> Why am I even looking at Ruse? Get off me. Why am I even looking at Ruse still? Look, I haven't even got the mushrooms now. Ranks. Oh, what's happened? I need to place another one. Let's <laughs> just place them everywhere. It's fine. I got myself stuck. <laughs> Love it. Um. Well, I'm gonna have to, isn't I? I can't pass up a 150 rue. I just cannot do it. Like, today's my day for a uh, rue taming, apparently. Gamma up a little bit. It's done, and is it a female? Is that one a female? Yeah. Well, they'd have to both be female, wouldn't they? Right, I feel like we saw some crystal knocking about, though. I think, I think that's a uh, salt there. I'm just going to pick this guy up. And then go looking to see if we can find some crystal. Because maybe, maybe we might get some from a crystal. I don't know where I got the stuff I've got from. Right, well we've got nine. So we've got, we've got some to start. Um, is that, do you think that's salt or crystal? Might be crystal. Okay. It's not amazing, but it's something. Oh, we must have got it from the beaver dams. Yeah, we should just go to the beaver dams. Because let's face it guys, we've got to uh we've got to wait for that to tame out anyway, so beaver dams are like we'll get over there well quick. Somewhere along this river. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Huh. That's a bit random, isn't it? I'll just wait to get my stand back before I start slaughtering these beavers. I don't really want to kill them, but... They're all going to aggro me anyway, so I might as well thin the numbers before I even get the stuff. Ah. Annoying. Oh, that was a 135. I wondered why it was so tanky. That was a 115. Wow, these are some tanky beavers. Right, that's six. With all the beaver killing you have to do, it might have actually have been quicker to just farm out on the crystal over there. <laughs> so I was getting like one or two a time, weren't I? Took me like five seconds to get here though. Plus I need to I need to get the paste. So you like seven. Twenty-five is probably enough, but I'm gonna get this one here as well. We are back on another velo, and this is a one two five male, so it, oh, for crying out loud. I hit that as it went down, didn't I? I know I did. So this will be our last one for the uh VLOs. That means we've got five now. We've got Procopton on over there, we've got to go pick up. So I'm going to grab some meat, throw it in this, go pick up the Procoptodon, and then actually it depends where I am on the map. Yeah, this is on our way home. But let's get some meat sorted. I might have some. Hmm. I don't know that four is enough. Um. Oh, there's can't I? Nice. Give us your arms, mate. Wee. That's what the prime meat is off a of Kano, his arms. Oh, those arms are glorious. I don't want all the normal meat. Just picking up normal meat. Oh, you see that Dodi dead just there? Looked like it, it died. Looked like it died quite. It's not nice. Oh, like well on his side. Bless his heart. Right. <laughs> 
let's pop that on and let's go get the Procopter done. I think this is our first 224 tame, isn't it? I don't think we've had a, I don't think we tamed anything that is a 150 yet. Feels good. Feels good. Well that might be up by the time we make it back. It won't be. <laughs> We're too fast. Do you know what? Funnily enough, this is look. This is actually all my cryopods I brought with me. This is all of my cryopods full stop. Full. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not calling it that. Right, come on then, mate. Time to go home and start messing about with them. I'd say that was a good trip to the desert. Don't often come much better than that, does it? Now, which is the way out? Yeah, perfect. I feel like the main problem we're going to have with these Velonosaurs is the fact that, uh, well, they're just going to be all over the place shooting stuff constantly, but we'll be, it'll be fine. Just need to get a uh, Velonosaur saddle. What do we need for it? I knew we'd need kite, and I've been I've been keeping the kite in while we've been out, and the Procoptodon saddle. It's like pelt. Um, are they both crafted in here? Yeah, looks like it. Nice. Yeah, I've been keeping hide and uh, kiting and carroting and that whilst I was uh because I knew I'd need it. So make a couple of them. Now where did I put that pelt? Yeah, there it is. Nice. That's probably all we need, isn't it? Was it what did it say? One fifty. Nice. We just need more kiting and carroting kind of want to get more saddles for them I don't really want to just leave them like as is because obviously they you know they might aggro stuff and then they might get like the heads kicked in things like that do you know what I mean um, I think we do need to farm more chitin though oh we've got a little bit there can that make us another one yeah. Oh, just fiver and hide. Right, okay. This is a. Uh, where do I put that fiver? Nice. A little bit of both in there. A little bit of both. Clap it back in here. More hide. We need to farm some hide, don't we? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at all this. Idiot. Right, okay, so that should be a... Uh, what do we need, five? Yeah, I think it was five. We tamed five, right? Four, five, yeah. Perfect. We had the, exactly enough. Look at that. Didn't work out any better. I'm going to throw these on my hotbar. The root can stay in my pocket for now. You, mate. You need that. I'm going to take you out for a berry farm in a minute. Because I've used up a lot of my uh, arrows I've made. Right, so what I'm thinking is we have like... We just dot them around like this, look. So we're going to put one there. And... Uh, can we do like turret mode? Enable turret mode. But does he walk when he's on turret mode? I wonder. I'm going to do one on here. But there's a tech raptor down there. Like what does his turret mode? Oh. I want you to just like go for everything only target what and we're going to put one this side of the gatches just to stop anything from like rolling up on them no not enable mating <laughs> enable turret mode I don't know where the good one is I want to actually have a look at the good one 
turret mode. Let's do it properly. We want high. And we want um, aggressive. That was right, wasn't it? Did I put a saddle on it? Yes. Right. So if I'm lucky. Oh, that, maybe these don't kill wild. I thought there'd be like actual turret settings on it. I've never set these up as turrets before, guys, can you tell? Why did they all face that way? Look, they all face that way. What was happening over there, guys? What's going on up here? Are they intrigued? I wonder. There's all sorts of things going on down there. Right, what I need to do is, let's grab the RG. Because they're like targeting anything. So, if we just pick something up. Come on, R. They spawned something near my base for a change. Like, now I've got all this set up, but this, like, never gonna spawn anything near my base ever again. Right, there's a raptor. We'll try a raptor. Okay. That's a good test, because it's a nasty thing as well. <laughs> They're getting me! <laughs> Guys, chill your beans! <laughs> they was actually hurting the RG. They're crazy. Gotta watch out for them. They're not to. Wait. What? Why is the Procopterdon over there? <laughs> I, I, I feel like I don't even want to know. Like some random stuff been going on. I'll leave the base for two seconds and look. Things are trying to move out. Oh, he's he's it's because he's still on a yeah he's still on attack my target, isn't he? Yeah, that's fine. So what we got stat wise on this? Good amount. Look at the weight. Nice. Look at the melee as well. It's pretty good. See, and this is what I mean guys yes a parasaur is good as your first tame for gathering berries and yeah an iguanodon is good for gathering berries and turning them into seeds but you're so much better just getting a roux and then just doing the berry gathering on the roux and then just taking the berries back to the iguanodon and turning it into seeds it's such a better way of doing it because even when I can't move look I can still kick to move well I can't I can't turn now but you, you get what I mean and look at that all of that in next to no time and you can kick bugs in the face everyone wants to kick a bug in the face do you know what I mean like who doesn't want did it just did it actually just harvest that lamppost sure that just harvest. I can check. Yeah, it did. Not very well, but it did. <laughs> it wasn't a very good harvest, but it was still a harvest. Nonetheless. Yeah, I like it. I like Aru, guys. They're just good. Brontos are good if you have them set up somewhere and just you only have to get on them and do one tail swipe, but I'm all about that Aru. I'm just all about that Rue. What is he after now? They're just always going to be going after stuff, aren't they? Right, so I'm just going to stick this guy here. Stick this back on him. And set you to passive. The annoying thing is now, I can't... Um, I don't really want to whistle pass everything passive in my base. 
because obviously we got um, Valonisaurs like knocking about doing stuff. So these guys, if you don't know, if you've never seen one, these 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 are what they look like. These are what they are. You walk about, you can do slash attack. You can hold right click, and that just puts like spines everywhere. Or you can uh, press C, and it enables the shooting mode, which is quite good. It's not got the best range in the world. I think it was better early on, but I think they probably nerfed it. I feel like it did change at some point. But these are really good for like doing the drops and stuff like that as well, because they're little turrets, do you know what I mean? Like, they ain't fast or anything, but if you chuck a load out and have them on turret mode, you're gonna, you sort stuff out nice and easy. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? I'll just get my stand back, and then I'll hold the right click and uh, go into this one. This, this didn't get, didn't get very good stats, did it? If we just roll up on him like this, and this, this, this is the attack. What's really good when you're doing drops and stuff. Because you have, it's like a full circular AOE, and obviously when you've got loads of uh, loads of things around you, you can just slam that out and just obliterate everything, and it just makes it uh, makes it loads easier. And obviously their spines, I think their spines do better damage to corrupted as well, so it's obviously good in that respect. I might that might be made up. Don't take my word on that. That's why I said I feel like they uh, do better damage. They might not actually do better damage, but how, how I feel about it. Like, seriously? What, what is going on with him? Is he not on turret mode? Or do they change off turret mode when you get off them? They might do. Yeah, there you go. Nice. No, he's just gonna. You're just desperate to like get in there, aren't you? I don't know why, but I'll leave you to it. But anyway, guys, that was a that's a good taming spree. I wanted to get some base stuff done, but for the last two weeks, I've wanted to get base stuff done on stream, and uh, it's been interrupted a little bit each week. But this week, it's not going to get interrupted because. It's all sorted out, so this Sunday we'll have a nice base building session stream and I can finally get a, get my base set up up there and get out of this cramped little bit down here. So it should be good, but anyway, I'll see you there. Take it easy, guys.